Morgan Solidy, 132 Kennedy. Um, I'm growing increasingly concerned with um, how the parking department is funded. I know you just said that we were finished with the general uh, fund, funded departments. But uh, last year, uh, $840,000 uh, went to pay revenue to the parking fund and came from the TIF tax. And I've been doing some research on it and I wasn't really familiar with it a couple of weeks ago, but the way I see it, the TIF tax is generated, that money is put to the side and it's used in the, the, the TIF district. Um, but if that money wasn't pooled into that slush fund, the money would be going to the general fund. So in actuality, the way I see it, any, any departments receiving TIF funds uh, is actually being funded by the taxpayer via a higher, via a higher tax rate. Does that sound legit? The problem is those, those uh, tax increment financing funds would not exist without the infrastructure improvements that, that are used to pay for, for those funds. And you guys don't believe that those industries and, uh, and the downtown uh, developments wouldn't happen on their own? No, they would not. So, so you think, so it's pretty, you're, you're under the, the assumption the, that the, the TIF funds are specifically used, and the reason we created the TIF funds is that without the improvements in, in the infrastructure in those items, the improvements would not take place and the TIF funds would not exist. All right, well then, so, all right, so you're talking about using the TIF fund for renovations and development, and but then when you look at the parking fund, so it was 840,000 uh, last year, and now it's proposed to go up, and by the way, that was 34% of the parking fund. It's proposed to go up to a million forty-nine this year, which will be 47% of the parking fund. Um, and that's what all maintenance. It's like snow removal and stuff. So it's you know, how much of that? How much of that million is going to actually, you know, make repairs? It, 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 are you guys allowed to use the tip fund for like maintenance? Yes. City manager. No, we, we we don't use it for maintenance. Uh, it's for capital improvements within the district. So operating expenses like maintenance would not be funded using tax increment finance. Okay, but, but some of those funds are used. For, some some parking funds are used for the maintenance of the parking areas. Yes, parking funds, that, but not yeah. tax increment financing yeah. funds. So if that's the conclusion. Uh, yes. All right. Well, that, uh, all right. Um, hey, um, uh, I can't say that I'm in favor of the, the whole TIF thing. It seems kind of schemey to me. Uh, the research that I've done, you know. There, there's lots of abuse going, all, going on throughout the country. Um, California got rid of theirs because they, uh, they were trying to send that money back to the, the general fund. They're having you know, budget, budget, budget issues. Um, however you spend it, I see, I see myself paying for parking through, higher, through a higher tax rate. I, I believe that these, the, the Blackwater and the, and the Well Street, I'm thinking these industries and those businesses would would you know grow over time or not? I don't think you need central planning to help those guys grow. Um, and why do they get a break? I mean, I my 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 parking lot in front of my house is the roots are growing up, and you know, can I can I get added to the, the tip district? Maybe the city can uh, repave my lawn for me. But um, um, I'm against the tip thing. I'm against paying for parking downtown. Um, I think that the best the best option. Uh, it seems to me that uh, the parking, although it's decreased by 200,000 this year, the TIF has gone up 200,000. So I don't, I don't see that the parking is being managed very well. Um, and I, I would like to see departments like the parking fund and the sewer fund and the water fund, which are all receiving TIF, I would like to see them self-sufficient. And uh, so I'm, I'm against that money going to them. Um, I'd like to second the, all the Pumpkin Fest guys. Pumpkin Fest is a great thing, a great event. I think that they could pay for themselves. I don't think they need 80,000. Um, I like a second Joe uh, concerning the city employees receiving free parking to the tune of 40, 44,000 this year, I believe. I, I don't believe that they uh, should have that extra <coughs> rights. They already make a good, a good, uh, good income. Um, and uh, 
that's all I have for now. Thank you. I'm not sure there was a question. Was there? No, I just wanted to second some guys. All right, thank you. Are there any further comments regarding the parking fund? James Cleveland, 31 Dunbar. Uh, I know it was brought up at the, I believe it was the last budget meeting. Um, it was suggested that, um, I, I don't know what the official title is, but Mr. Lamoro's position may be eliminated. Was that ever finalized in this uh, budget year? The budget has not been finalized at this point. Or, or is it still um, budgeted as of right now? It's proposed for okay. budgeting purposes right now. And then uh, I think there were some suggestions too that were brought up that I thought were pretty good on how to uh, manage the expenses, the cost of the parking department a little bit better. Uh, so I would encourage the, the city to really take a hard look. And, I mean, there's a lot of things that, that concern me, like one of the things um, the claim was made moving to this location would save money. And then when I looked at the budget, uh, they're paying more for telephones, they're paying rent now. So the cost is actually more. And then I don't know, I believe the city was receiving rent from, well, no, I take that back. And I think the point was made that there be efficiencies from uh, the parking officers not having to to drive in, but I kind of question those efficiencies would they add up to twelve thousand dollars because these people are still going to work the same amount of time, so I don't think there's going to be any savings at all. And according to the Sentinel in January, the only additional cost for moving to this location was going to be the remodel and furniture, and obviously that doesn't appear to be the case. So, thank you. Any further comments regarding the parking fund? All right, the uh, next item we're